total of 920 goals scored in the J-League this season. Let's look back at some of the best. First up, here's Leandro Damiao of Kawasaki Frontale showing great awareness from distance back in March against Vissel Kobe. Second, it's Hiroyuki Maie of Avispa Fukuoka. What a way to score your first league goal of the season as Avispa edged Sanfrecce Hiroshima 2-1 in April. Then in the month of May, Leandro Damiao showed he was just as lethal in the box as Kawasaki Frontale snatched a draw against Shonan Belmare. There was a touch of Danish class in June. Urawa Reds' Kasper Juncker making it look so easy. It takes something special to beat Nagoya Grampus's goalkeeper Mitchell Langerak this season. And in July, Noriyoshi Sakai of Sagantosu showed how it's done in the 3-1 win at home. In August, Poland striker Jakub Sviatok announced his arrival in the J-League in style as Nagoya Grampus beat Avispa Fukuoka 1-0. Kawasaki Frontale have a habit of leaving it late to win games this season, and often they do it in style. Ten Miyagi with the winner here against Kashima Antlers in September. He may have scored just one goal this season, but Tomoki Takamine of Consodale Sapporo will cherish this for a long time as his side beat Gamba Osaka 5-1 in October. November witnessed the brilliance of Nagoya Grampus's Yochiro Kakitani. Sometimes you just have to trust your instincts. The 31-year-old's improvisation proved to be the decisive factor as he took home the Goal of the Year award. Ryotaro Araki of Kashima Antlers was awarded the best young player of the season as the 19-year-old scored 10 goals to become only the second player to reach double figures before turning 20. Leandro Damiao took the top scorer award after scoring 23 goals in Kawasaki Frontale's march to the J-League title. Estou muito feliz, né? Orgulhoso de tudo que a gente conquistou durante o ano e agora com esses títulos individuais é mérito de todo o time. Não dava para falar o que estava falando aí. Falar uma coisinha errada. Olha. Eu sempre me cuidei é, fisicamente, sempre desde a pré-temporada, me cuidei bastante, um, porque eu sei que eu preciso disso. E centroavante também precisa estar concentrado no jogo. Muitas vezes eu estava ali, meu, meu, adver, meu adversário estava ali, eu estudava ele para poder fazer os gols, e meus companheiros também, assistência. Foi, foi desse jeito que a gente conseguiu, acho que, fazer uma grande temporada e eu também. Yokohama F. Marino's Daizen Maeda was also presented with the top scorer award as his tally of 23 goals proved pivotal in securing a second place finish for the team. Well, a breakthrough season for the 24-year-old striker. Well done, Daizen Maeda.
อย่าลืมไลค์และ Subscribe นะครับ Like subscribe push notification Like subscribe push notification